So this is the fourth problem. The fourth problem says sine x times tan x plus cos x is equal to sec x. We are asked to what? Verify and prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now remember my first trick. My first trick says convert every other identity that is not sine and cos to sine and what? Cos. So you can see I have tan x here, right? So what I can simply do is that sine x times what? Now recall that tan x is what? Sine x over what? Cos x, right? Plus cos x. No, I want to prove that the whole of this is equal to sec, isn't it? So that's my goal. So I can leave this as, okay, let me do something like this, isn't it? Now this is what? Sine times, sine x times sine x, which is what? sine squared x over this is what cos x plus what cos what x over one now this is where i have to apply my what fourth trick you remember the fourth trick the fourth trick says if you have a plus b you can resolve it to a single word fraction which is c you get so if you have two words fractions you can resolve it to a single word fraction so you can see that this trick really works. So what I will simply do here is to collect like, no, not collecting like terms now. Look for the LCM. The LCM is cos x, right? So cos x divided by cos x is 1. 1 times sine square x is sine squared x. Plus cos x divided by 1 is cos x. Divide, multiply by cos x is cos square x, right? You can see. Now recall... I'm sure you know already that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equals to 1. So I can substitute 1 above, right? So this is equal, this is equal to 1 over what cos x. And record again that from my reciprocal identities, the one I gave you, 1 over cos x is the same thing as what? Sec x. So this has been proved. It has been proved. I've proved proved it so 1 over cos x is equals to what sec x so it has been proved okay having done four problems let's move on to more complex problems this is quite easy uh, yeah it's quite easy so let's move on the last problem for tonight the last problem for tonight is uh, is this it says if you have if you have number five if you have sec x minus cos x prove that this is equal to tan x sine x recall my first rule convert everything that is not sine and cos to sine and cos now i have sec there and from the last problem we solved sec is equals to inverse of cos right so this is 1 over cos x minus what cos x isn't it right so over 1 right i hope you're following me so the lcm here is what the lcm here is cos x cos x divided by cos x is 1 1 times 1 is 1 minus cos x divided by 1 is cos x right cos x times cos x is cos square x isn't it so this is equal to what sine squared x over cos x right now from this this is where i got it from if you collect like terms from here one minus one minus cos squared x is equals to what sine sine squared x right so that's what i did i just simply wrote sine squared x in place of this right over cos x now remember i'm trying to prove that this left hand side is equal to the right hand side so now this is where i have to apply the i think the third law the third trick when you have a single fraction right <laughs> this is getting interesting thank you holy spirit you can split it into what two smaller fractions right so this is the where the third trick is being implied or impl is being used so this is the same thing as i can write this as sine x over one right times sine x over cos x you agree with me 
isn't it? And you know that sine x over cos x is what? Tan x. So this is sine x into what? Tan x. Has it not been proven? Has it not been proven that this is equivalent to this? You can see. So this is the last problem for tonight. And I would love you all to uh, pick up more problems and work on them as you find it more and more interesting.